center or that supply depot. Let's see Ooh. what happens. As these things start to poke away at this building supply depot, more SCVs are here, and it looks like this will be successfully defended against. And this SCV just hanging out inside of Dodo's base, seeing the queen come out as well. Oh well, actually not seeing the ex uh, the extractor being placed down. Which is a little bit of important information. We do see this Overlord will uh, start to take some heavy damage. By Those two of you are wondering. Six pool never stops. All the way, even in Masters, six pool is a standard open for a lot of players that I still play. That's it's insane. ridiculous. I can't believe it. It makes me cry every time I see it. The and they're good at it, and they transition out of it. And you guys, the king of the month will be tomorrow for those who are joining and asking about that. So, uh, you have not missed it. Don't worry. We do see two barracks another... going down by Asmi. And a fast expanse on the Zerg side. That's right. So. He's got his 100 gas, and he's beginning to pull guys off the geysers. Got a two now. We also see concussive Lost. shells just now being finished up by Asmi as the first upgrade from this tech lab. Second upgrade will be a will be the stim pack upgrade. Uh, Marauders on their way out, and these barracks are finishing up. And a reactor Stems on one of them. Be done. So we're going to see a big push out by about eight minutes when Stim finishes up. Two reactors. Reactor. Wow. Wow. Makes you wonder about that concussive shell upgrade. It definitely does. But we do uh, we do see Dodo finishing up his expansion, not continuing to pump out Lings so far. Uh, but just droning up and getting his layer tech. Second extractor on the way out right now from Dodo. As Dodo does have one overlord watching this natural expansion area to make sure he can keep an eye on when, uh, you know, when Asmi is going to expand so that he can keep one expansion ahead of Asmi. Um, Dodo's uh, layer finishing up and... Yeah, not, nothing too much else. You know, Asmi's just pumping out Marines. We're two minutes and ten seconds away from Mutus. I think that's what he's going for. And that double reactor is really going really gonna to pay off. Stem is just going to complete at seven. We're probably going to have Mutus on the field by a nine. That's right. Those, uh, those Mutas will be taking a bullet bath. As we see Spinecrawler go down from Dodo. Now, uh, how will the timing be from Asmi, I wonder? Running a little low on minerals. He's and not, you know uh, what, man? It looks like we're having a uh, we're having a hydralisk den go down for Dodo instead of ah. the spire. So more of a hydralisk build. That'll be that'll be more helpful. It is hydralisk and ling. No baneling nest down for Dodo, which concerns me with the amount of marines that are going to be coming out, man. Um, shield upgrade, for, uh, combat shield for the marines is on the way out right now from Asmi. Um, we're, let's take a look at the uh, unit counting station. We do see that there are t 30 drones here for Dodo, and there are o there are only 21 SCVs for Asmi. Yeah, he would benefit a lot from mainerding a couple of those drones from his main down to his other expansion. And here comes the guys across the center of the map, but he's got the watchtower, so he's going to see it coming. Might be able to get this overlord. He Nope, moves it away in time. That's good to see, but there's a couple of free more candies overlords. out yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Is he going to snipe them? Overlord hunting season is open Ooh, just as that overlord that's goes down. Block the out of him. Yeah, that does. That definitely locks him, and this is going to be bad for Dodo's expansion here. As this ball of Marines and Marauders move in, take out that spine crawler. This hatchery is going down, just like that queen did, and just like that overlord did as well. Yeah, wow, this is just bad. This is bad Unlucky. for Dodo. Very nice timing oh. here from Asmi. Trying to get for those extra hydralisks coming out. He's got three more in development, but I'm just not sure that he's going to be able to handle and, that. And you know, the supply block here is still in effect on Dodo's side. So Dodo's going to have a, a very hard time. I, you know, I think this is over. I think yeah, it's done. Just... I mean, there's no way. There's no way that this base right here can defend against this push. I mean, Asmi had perfect timing with that 
Hope his keyboard breaks again is about the only thing he's got going. Yeah, that's uh, that's what Dodo is hoping in his head right now is that this keyboard fails. But it looks like Asmi is going to go ahead and continue to push forward, stimming up once again, taking going to take out this lair. And I don't think there's Smiling. anything that uh, there is absolutely nothing that Dodo can do at this point, and this could be this should be GG. GG is called. Dodo is out of here. Asmi pushes forward in the tournament. Good game and good luck to Asmi as we continue forward. We do. It's a see silver a player victory. against a platinum. Tough. The one thing. The skill disparity between each one of the groups is quite pronounced. Blizzard has uh, been able to that's what it takes. bifurcate the skill levels very well. That means just split. That's a $55 word for split, by the way. Alright. It's hard to hear you. Hey, and man, uh, one, thi one thing, Zomax, is uh, after the game, we usually play those wins videos. Oh, sorry. So when you're talking in the middle of a win video, you can't really understand what you're saying. Just uh, just to keep that in mind, it's no problem, man. No, You're I, new I to the whole casting this. game here at Im Imbalance TV, so it's no big. I apologize, my. I'll try not to make the mistake again, my friend. Uh, that sounds good, Deckard. Thank you. Did you ever? Uh, did you ever get you. the? Uh, did you ever get the modification to the Diablo 2 uh, where it was the uh, hippie Deckard Kane mod? Where no, it was like, what was that hi oh, dude, it it remodeled Deckard Kane and made him a hippie sitting on the ground with a hookah oh. and a bong and stuff, and like, <laughs> he was just this like Stay big stoner. A while and hit this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> like to try some of my strawberry shisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. While we're waiting for that next game, Nuclear Star. Ah, now there's a man. Whose name I recognize from the chat. Yes. He is a fan of Imba TV, and uh, so is Dave and Ho. We got a diamond player, rank number. Rank number nine. He is currently. Ooh, he is fighting for Masters. He's inching away. Right now, for those boys who are in diamond that are almost into Masters, the, the punch zone is just about 3,200 points. 3,300 points, so you're there. You're days away from Masters, and we got this thing under roll. That's right. Five seconds left. Let's get ready to rumble. We got a diamond versus diamond going on here, so we got Thor is here. All right, everybody. Welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. This is the Firelight Team in-house deathmatch tournament. And we've got Dave and Ho against Nuclear Star, both Imba TV fans, and it will be on Metalopolis. This should be a pretty fun match, as it is a ZVT once again. And who are you guys rooting for out there in the chat? I want to know. All right, so here we go. We see Dave and Ho spawning in the six o'clock position as the yellow Zerg. And up here at the 9 o'clock position, we've got Nuclear Star as the Purple Terran. And, uh, you know, they are in close air distance once again. Nuclear fighting! So, you know, anything you want to say about this, uh, about this matchup? Yeah, I noticed both people are still in the chat, but I hope they've done the right thing and turned the chat stream off, at least the sound. So that none of them are using the stream as their competitive edge. Yeah, that would this be pretty bad. should be a bad. pretty even game. But I will arbitrarily say the wrong thing and see how they react just to test the boys. So don't take what I say. Only listen to McDuff's. <laughs> because there's already DTs on the field. There's already DTs on the field from the third player who just entered over here on the right-hand side of the map. That's right. We've got a bunch of drop ships dropping off some Vikings and, uh, you know, some uh, vultures. That's right, I said it. Vultures are here. Spider <laughs> mines are spider on the mines. field. Spider mines everywhere. All right. And as we uh, get into it, it looks like, uh, looks like Nuclear Star will see this overlord from Davenho and change his scouting position to go and scout the closest air distance. So good decision here by Nuclear Star. 
As we continue in, we do see Nuclear Star going off with the uh, wall off, just like you would normally do when you're fighting a Zerg. As well as David laying say. down a, uh, a spawning pole and a extractor. Extractor was placed down first, so we could see some early uh, speedlings, depending on how uh, fast David Ho gets these Zerg or these drones on this extractor. There we go. Oh, and gas steel. Okay. Forcing him into the marine, the bio ball, or at least further delaying the uh, Hellion drops, or, or sorry, not the Hellion drops, the Banshee. Definitely. And it will take three marines to successfully take out this extractor. Now the question is, is David Ho going to... Yes, cancel does go down. And he's going to go and do a little bit of a scout and maybe uh, lay another one down as he starts to get attacked. Pulling that marine forth. Looks like he's approaching to do another gas steal here. So he goes behind the smoke. The mist. Oh, and that Marine's going to lose a cent. Oh, oh nice oh, job by denied. Nuclear Star. Denying it with a with a 2% build refinery. But in the meantime, his SCV is getting chomped away by the drone. Yep, drone just punching at that SCV. And here we got some little puppy dogs. As well as an expansion going down by Dave and Ho. Factory oh, going down here from Nuclear Star. As he finishes he up pool? his refinery, yeah. That's right. Drone, drone count's about the same. We're at 1717 right now. Both have lost a drone each, a SCV, a harvester. And uh, Panlandil is assuring us that nobody in Firelight would ever dare to cheat. That's and good I like to hear. That. I like that too. There is no point. You're just so hurting yourself, not... man. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Watch Day 9 100 if you think that cheating is the way to go. Well, we do have Dave and Ho finishing up with the Zergling speed. So uh, these lings have lings. Nuclear Star moving out with uh, five Marines right now. Going to take care of this Zergling. the best that the Goss rifle can do. We see Baneling Nest now going down by Davenho, seeing those Marines opted, uh, so made him opt for the uh, Baneling. We will uh, possibly good, see some good busts. Good Maynard transfer. Uh oh, is this a second Baneling Nest going down? <laughs> Davenho is building a second Baneling Nest! One. And that is uh, unfortunate he's not able to pay attention and, or he's not able to notice the fact that he's already built one. Maybe he will after it pops. We do see, uh, we do see the uh, pre-igniter going down right now for the Hellions as uh, more Hellions are being produced. Drop ships on the way as well. So we should see a drop or a Hellion drop coming. This Baneling Nest is going to continue. David Ho with a double Baneling Nest. Excellent. So uh, this is turning into a classic here. And you know it's it's funny when uh, when you watch when when like I'm on your camera and you zoom in and I move the camera, it'll stay consistently zoomed in and at that angle, like it's the normal screen. Did you ever know? Ah, did you ever uh, did you ever notice that? Yeah. Starcraft interface is kind of funny sometimes. We do see a scout going out right now from Nuclear Star. Gonna go up and uh, get attacked by this Zergling up here on the Selnaga Watchtower. Banshees on their way. And here are the Hellions, Blue Flamers, in the oh, face! Oh man! The humanity! All five those kills. drones! Five kills. The David Ho's you know, down I... to 22 drones now. Lost quite and a that... bit. That leveled the field. Uh, he needed that because he was behind significantly. Agreed. In the draw. Yeah. 